Getting reports from all five boroughs. More Hydra troopers with fangs. Talk about making a bad thing worse. I've tried tracking down what they're up to. Find anything? Nothing that could still speak. I may know somebody who could help. No offense. This isn't exactly friendly neighborhood stuff. Not sure your contacts will be much help. He's not that friendly. Who? He's also not one of the bad guys. Who exactly? A physician, of sorts. Look, do you want to figure this out or not? Never seen a vampire feed on another vampire. I felt it. One time. I bit you one time. It wasn't fun for me either. You taste like an old barbell. <sighs> There's a cat fight joke in here somewhere, but I can't figure it out. Look, Dr. Morbius, we need your help. Someone is turning Hydra troopers into vampires. We don't know why or what they want. According to the creature I just ate, they're after my research. I can tarry no longer. I must return to my lab before the... You're going nowhere. Don't have a hissy fit. It was right in front of me. Uh, maybe we can help each other out. So, where is this lab? You get used to the stench. I never do. Wait, wait. You were right, Doc. We shouldn't have tarried. I see you've located the doctor. I hope he's feeling cooperative. I think we're all on the same page here. Common enemy, the greater good. Everyone gets it, right? Of course. We'll see. Maybe you should teach me that one. No choice. You know, you're pretty good at this. I've been waiting. Hydra Immortalis! 
They've got friends. These things are hardly worthy of being classified as vampires. Not that I'm overly protective of the title. That didn't stop you from feeding. You know Your thirst, my hunger. We can only fight. Some of us have tried harder than others. Oh, oh you think I haven't tried to end this? I do feel pretty amazing. Time to play. Maybe you don't understand my path, Blade. I have surmounted one challenge after another to reach this point. I know what you've been trying to do since you turned. It has nothing to do with stopping thirst. When my blood fails me. I have no choice but to feed. That does not Hate to break up the moment, but you should probably deal with the bad guys, right? Just the boost I needed! I'm intruding here, but I'm glad you're working out your issues. I doubt they were expecting such resistance. Doc, this is twisted. Thought he was one of the good guys. 
I said he was not one of the bad guys. Knowledge has no inherent morality. This is science. Tell it to them. They'll be fine. Eventually. What exactly are you doing here, Dr. Morbius? Research. A gamma serum flows through the blood of these Hydra soldiers, augmenting their capabilities. It inspired me to concoct a prototype sample, a serum of my own. I thought it might dampen the effects of the sunlight on my abilities, but its protective qualities were far more effective than I expected. Whoa. Are we talking... Daywalker in a vial. Morbius, tell me it doesn't work. Not yet. The prototype sample needs time to fully mature. But it's gone. Along with all my notes. I'll have to start over. Looks like they're back for seconds. Nah, they have the sample. They want to take out the only competition in town. Then we shall dissuade them. Cannot allow them to destroy my work. Protect my equipment. You left out some important details of your research, Doc. Some things are better left unsaid, but it was all necessary. Hydra or not, this is wrong. The work Hydra has done with gamma injections was too profound to ignore. Even using them as some kind of change? Seems a little unethical. As opposed to the chimney that you and your friends give them. Big difference.
Looks like they call for help. If my research here can help you defeat Hydra, and I've removed some of them from the front lines in the process, I don't see the harm. against experimentation and false imprisonment. Because it's, you know, evil. Rarely have I ever been accused. at all, Morbius. You're just lucky I'm working with the Suns again. As opposed to guys. Me leaving you here with your experiments. Permanently. Maybe we can all hug this out later. Get along really well. I think you got him. No further abomination. Okay, okay, it's cool. Morbius is with us now. With us? You would bring a vampire into the Abbey? Well, he's not a vampire. Not exactly. If he was, he'd be dust. He became this way because of an experiment gone wrong, not a bite from a vamp. He's his own master, right, Doc? If I may. There are few judges of character better than Spider-Man. Back me up here, Blade. As much as I hate to admit it, we could probably use his help. This once. Hunter, was it? Thank you for not making a bigger deal about my arrival. I know my presence unnerves many. You surprised me earlier, and I do not like surprises. But any friend of Peter is a friend of mine. I am relieved to hear it. You have a wonderful home, and a great many resources. I look forward to making use of them. How do you think you will help? I am the world's foremost authority on vampire physiology. Blade knows a great deal about vampire rituals, habits, and social order, but he doesn't understand their biology. Why should that matter? <laughs> In a sense, you could say Blade can take a vampire apart, but he can't put one back together. I do not want to put vampires back together. Of course not. Let me put it like this. If you understand the structure of an organism, you'll know its weak points, where to push so it falls apart. This is what I offer you. Then let me officially welcome you to the Midnight Suns. You will not regret this. Now, can you show me where we keep the prisoners? 
I would like to feast. What? <laughs> Only kidding. I think you'll be happy to know that I've actually already started researching vampire biology. That sounds like good news. Unfortunately, I also have bad news. I've been tinkering with a prototype gamma serum that suppresses the effects of sunlight on vampiric membranes. The vampires have taken that from me. Then we must take it back. That is why I'm here. And I would love to get back to that research. Unless you have further need of me. I want to know a little more about you first. Naturally. I am an open book. You seem to know Blade and Spider-Man well. What is your impression of them? When I first became the living vampire, I struggled with my baser instincts. It took me a while to maintain control over my appetite. Spider-Man and Blade were the first two heroes I encountered, and they protected many innocent people from my wrath. You mean they fought you? Yes. But I am grateful, because they encouraged me to become a better man. Though I wish Blade's approach hadn't been nearly so ferocious. Who were you before you became a vampire? I was born with a rare, degenerative blood condition. My disease would have proven fatal if I had not taken matters into my own hands and experimented on my body using vampire bat DNA. I cured myself, but there were side effects. I have heard you called a living vampire. What does that mean? It means that unlike most vampires, I have a pulse. How is this possible? Most vampires are tied to the supernatural realm. They are undead creatures. My gifts are a boon of science. I am wholly unique in that way. Quite literally a freak of nature. I would like to know more about your capabilities. Like a traditional vampire, I possess enhanced strength, speed, acute senses. An accelerated healing factor allows me to bounce back from otherwise mortal injuries. And while I cannot fly in the traditional sense, I have the psionic ability to glide over great distances. Do you share other vampiric weaknesses? One of the advantages of being a living vampire is that I do not have those Achilles heels. I could drink holy water all day, and a silver bullet stings like a lead one. One slight exception is daylight. I do not burn under the sun, but my eyes are sensitive to the light, and my powers are somewhat dampened during the daytime. Do you have to consume blood like any other vampire? Regrettably, not only do I need to consume human blood, I crave it. But you do not need to worry. I keep my cravings in check these days, and only feed on those who prey on others. Never mind. I will let you settle in. Happy to talk any time. Anything else on your mind? Why are Hydra soldiers willingly turning into vampires? Define willingly. I think that's Sin's influence. They must be extremely devoted to agree to such a change. Or more terrified of what Sin will do if they don't. I wonder how becoming a bloodsucker mixes with the Gamma Serum already in their systems. I bet that's one hell of a hangover. 
What happens if Hydra successfully replicates Morbius's prototype sample? Sunproof vampires seem like a bad idea for all involved. Maybe not for the vampires. For now, it's just a scary theory. Even if it works, there could be side effects, like new breed vampires bursting into flame upon contact with oxygen. Yeah, wishful thinking, but prototypes can be unpredictable. Just to ask Hank Pym about Ultron. Thanks, Carol. Sure thing. I should set up my lab sooner than... Checking in on me already, Hunter. I haven't had time to get into trouble. You can never be sure. I suppose. What can I do for you? Never mind. I will let you settle in. Happy to talk any time. Doctor, meet the doctor. Steven, have you worked with Morbius before? Oh, yes. He is a formidable ally. He once assisted me in a battle against a Fear Lord from the Dream Dimension. Fear Lords are powerful foes. Yes, it was a boisterous battle, so I was pleased to have Morbius at my side. Undoubtedly, he will be a favorable ally against Lilith as well. So you have no reservations about letting him stay in the Abbey? None at all. As long as he doesn't grow too hungry, we'll all be fine. Wait, what should we do if he gets hungry? We should all be on guard. Steven, I need details. As with any vampire, he could lose control and eat every one of us, but I do not think that will happen. Tony, what is your impression of Morbius? Well, we've never actually met, but Strange talks highly of him. I am... uncomfortable inviting a vampire to live in the Abbey. Hey, I know what you mean. Half the people on my board of directors are vampires. Not literal bloodsuckers, but they definitely try to sink their teeth into you. Or your pocketbook. Maybe. The guy's a freak, no doubt. But every genius is. You should have seen half my professors back at MIT. Or that Tony Stark guy who's always in the news. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I've read a few of Morbius's papers on DNA manipulation, and it's years ahead of anyone else. He could be a valuable asset. So you think we can trust him? Well, I never said that. But he could be useful. Yes? I have... It me. Never mind. Happy to... Hey, hey, careful. Some of us aren't immortal quasi-invulnerable demigods. So, another vampire-ish Blade, are you actually comfortable with Morbius living here? Comfortable? I'll never be comfortable around that monster. But if I'm being generous, he could be useful. I am grateful to have another able warrior on our side. You sound like Peter. Naive. What exactly is your history with Morbius? I don't like getting into that. But the two of you have fought before. What makes you think we can trust him now? I never said we could trust him. If that man loses control to his bloodthirst, I'll end him myself. But the vampires are using his experiments against us. We need him to clean up his own mess. So Morbius is just a tool to you? Call it whatever you want. I call it practical. Sorry we didn't give you a heads up before, you know, about bringing a vampire into the Abbey. It all happened kind of fast. Are you sure we can trust Morbius? Yeah. Morbius has his demons, but he's a teddy bear. A snarly teddy bear. With fangs. But there's stuffing in there, somewhere. This is not helping your argument. What I'm trying to say is that Morbius has a good heart. And exceptionally good blood. 
good blood? Yeah. Whatever Morbius did to transform his body, infused the heme in his blood with curative properties. I'd love to help him study it further, if I ever have the time. Since we're fighting new breed vampires, we'd do well to have a living vampire in our corner. I admire your leadership capabilities. Well, that is very kind of you to say. brought me today. What have you got for me, boss? Sometimes, I even impress myself. Hey, Hunter. This should be useful. This will do nicely. the mind and body. Ready for more? Caretaker said I need to be a team player. Later. bit out of sorts. I don't have anything to do at the moment. Am I actually having a bit of downtime? Seems like it. I don't know what to do with myself. You need something to keep your hands occupied. Some kind of hobby. Well, I am a pretty good cook when I have the time. Putting ingredients in a pot isn't much different than casting a spell. Just do not confuse the two. Truer than you might think. Someday I will have to tell you the horrific tale of my last souffle. I barely escaped with my life. I do not think you will have to wait long for some other crisis to appear. Yes, I think you are right. I should cherish this time while I have it. For the moment I will just... be.
Oh, thanks, Hunter. Salutations. Thanks, Hunter. Slay some vamps! We aren't going anywhere. This is a solo job. Uh, you know how boring solo jobbing by yourself is? Come on! No way. You're too distracting. I need to be focused out there. This could be a great bonding experience for us. We could touch stakes. Blade, you should bring Deadpool. Ha! See? Let me go put on my vampire hunting undies. Thanks a lot, Hunter. I had to learn to work with you. So should he. But you are Deadpool. Tell me, you day dead cat wrapped in cabbage? Huh? Huh? What? Huh? What? What? What is that? That is a hemolisk. Uh, the face not even a shemalisk could love, if that is a face. Because maybe that's it's. It's a vampire egg sack, which means now we're on the lookout for... Vampire bacon sack? Huh? Get it? What do we have? A full infestation? If we're lucky. Then I suggest you eliminate the threat before the vampires can get any stronger. On it. Or we pop that sucker like a giant zip. Yeah, no, your idea's great, too. Do what you can down there, Blade. And try not to lose your cool with that merc. Cough! Did you forget I can hear you? That's okay. Probably just a senior moment. I wouldn't poke that hornet's nest if I were you. I she probably just needs her daytime meds and a nap. Now listen here, you little... Oh, I love you too, Grammy. I'll put this to the These fanatics are always the same. Your mother. Come get it. Hey, yo. Time to bleed. Sit some.
Let's do this! Just stumbled on out in the open. There must be a major infestation here. Wouldn't take time to establish. Something's off here. Don't blame. Still in my prime. birthing new breed vampires at an alarming rate. All these are the dead fighting handsy types from the movie. Whatever happened to them? I killed Blade? Don't get any ideas. Routine operation.
birthing new breed vampires at an alarming rate. All oh, these are the neck-biting handsy types from the movie. Whatever happened to them? 
Healing factor will fix me up. You do know I have a healing factor, right? Well done, you two. What the? I'll come with. Or should I just stay? Right. Okay. Good talk. Starting to feel like a real job all of a sudden. <laughs> sure, punk out. It's what you do best. Since we're gonna be best friends after this, I can't just leave you hanging. Don't do me any favors. like thieves that give people like us a bad reputation.
in hell. Seen a feeding. Not the vampires I'm used to killing. Aren't you normally death incarnate to them? They aren't fleeing in terror. None of this is normal. These new breed vampires don't want to be. Let's see if it feels like the midnight suns. Yeah, keep digging that grave. Started drinking blood. Tempting, right? I am really getting good at that. Never up. Test your strength. 